kitchen to go in there. I love you. Oh, sweetheart. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're just the sweetest little thing. I love you. Hey piggy people. So I just finished cleaning cages and I thought why not do some cage tours with our brand new cage set up. So this is the herd's cage. So over in this end they have a one by three like hidden area. So it's nicely draped down so that they can hide back there. And we have two of the wood log tunnels leading back there. Yeah. Hi sweetheart. How are you? Hi gorgeous. There's a nice big hay pile here. And there's another tunnel there. We have a 32 ounce water bottle hanging up there. Over here is a 16 ounce. One of their pellet dishes. So this is the Rosewood Naturals double ceramic dish. So we found it on Amazon or Bobby's Bunny Boutique. So going over this way, there's another one by three fleece forest hide that has two couches underneath and velvet there is demonstrating our open-ended cuddle sack there's another 32 ounce water bottle over there will you show us how a couch works? no? okay and then coming over this way Reese is demonstrating one of our hay boxes that's filled with orchard grass hay we have another wood log tunnel just off to the side. There's another 32 ounce water bottle hanging over there. And we have another 16 ounce water bottle over here. This is their other ceramic pellet dish. And then they have another 1x3 hide section. So hockey here is in our cube. Apples up on a couch. Hi gorgeous. Hello. And then there's a cube over there. And we have another hay pile over here. So let's do a quick little overview. So their cage is, I forget already how big. One, two, three, four, five, six, the one area is a 3x6 and then this other area is a 3x7.5 I believe. Yeah, so that's the herd's cage. There are six piggies that live in here. Can you name them all? Put that down in the comments. Bonus points if you know who's the oldest and who's the youngest. Hi gorgeous. Oh, I just love seeing this face. Are you feeling better? I hope so. Okay, so over here is Angus and Autumn's cage. So theirs is a 3x4. We are on this adorable otter fleece. So right up here is they have a little 2x2 mat where I put their two wood logs on and then their hay pile. And they have a 16 ounce water bottle here and one over there and just like every cage there is a place to hide so theirs is a one by three there's a cuff tunnel and an open-ended sack to make sure that Angus has a warm place to sleep and then in a bungalow bed back there you can see Autumn snoozing away and they also have the same pellet dish as the herd does the double ceramic dish So their cage uh, lines up with the herd, so they can talk to the herd if they like, and they can also talk to Annie. So Annie's cage is a 2x3, 
So her little area that's covered over is just a one by one. She's actually really friendly and outgoing. So I don't know that I need to put another section there for her to hide. Because she's always out in the open and doesn't care. So I think she's good with just a little section overhang there. So she has her hay box in the corner. A little pellet dish there. I do believe that pellet dish was Willie's. Do you guys remember Willie? He was an awesome senior skinny pig that stayed with us for a while. And Annie is in there. You can't really see her. But that's her little cuff tunnel to stay warm. She has a hay pile as well. So that's Timothy and in the hay boxes is always the orchard grass. Timothy I like to keep on the ground because it is pretty scratchy. So this is her 16 ounce water bottle. She has access to say hi to the herd and to say hi to Angus and Autumn. Now I just took away the plexiglass between her and her sister tonight. Fingers crossed that Annabelle's not going to be too upset about it because it is nicer when plexiglass doesn't divide them. So just like her sister's cage, she has a 2 by 3 She's eating at her Timothy hay pile. There's her pellets. I have to keep her pellets away from the water or she absolutely soaks them. I actually have to throw this out, but this is an example. She absolutely destroyed a whole pellet dish by letting water pour into it. So back here is her snuggle sack. And she has her hay box. Forget if I already said that. That's her 16 ounce water bottle. And we will see how she does with having two grids to see her sister. So she is a bit more of a spazzy pig, so I definitely like her having that area for her hide. She's doing really, really well by the door. So I don't think I've updated you guys since we've moved her by the door. I know I did right when we moved her, but she's been here for weeks now. She's really doing well. So I thought opening the door and walking in might scare her, but it doesn't. And you can actually, if you go really slow, give her a little pet on her nose fluff. That's about all the places that you can touch skinny pigs is like where they're furry by their nose and usually their ears and anything else I find they don't like. But yeah, she's been getting pet. She seems a lot happier now that she's out in the open and always getting to see what's going on in the room versus being back in the corner. So that's been really positive. Uh, she still definitely is moody, so if you guys don't know, I do have her scheduled for a spay beginning of January. So her sister, Annie, got spayed and it did absolute wonders for her personality, her temperament. I shouldn't say personality, I mean she's still the same piggy. It just did a lot for her temperament, her mood. So she was really hormonal before and really spazzy and stressed and now she is super calm and relaxed. So we're hoping for that for her sister because her sister's wound like a top sometimes. So yeah, that's um, our happy little pig room. It's a little messy uh, since Apple just recently went through recovery. I kind of was slacking on keeping things clean, so we do have to clean up. So we've got a 2x3, a 2x3, a 3x4, and then the herd's cage. So this is my happy place. I just absolutely love being down here, seeing what everybody's up to. I could watch guinea pigs eat or sleep for hours. Does that make me creepy? Just nothing is more comforting than seeing them enjoying their life and being comfy and cozy. And anytime I see them like in their beds all snuggled, oh, just melts my heart. So what's your guys' favorite thing about your guinea pigs? I just love seeing happy guinea pigs. And I love seeing these two together. There's something really sweet about 
my two little snuggle buddies together. Not that they snuggle each other, but they like to be snuggled by me. You two are so cute. Oh, it looks like Autumn has hopped out of her bed and is now stretched out. She's so cute. Angus is still eating, I guess. And I suppose we're not going to be seeing Annie because she's snoozing too. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye! If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!